Well, this is just a, a quick video to show a couple of little tricks with uh, the beam scale. And uh, this is a RCBS 502, it's uh, tuned up and fitted with a camera. Uh, I, I did this one for Tim Stewart, the European F Class champion, a while ago. So, this is a new little idea. I'm sure you're familiar with the cameras that work with a laptop or uh, the mobile phone trick. But now there's a new app now that we can use this on a on a pad. So this is just a cheap little Android. Um, actually, it's sort of Tesco Huddle, uh, seventy nine pounds, sixty nine pounds or something. Works very well, and you can see we've got portable. All it needs is a connection from a micro USB port to the standard USB port for the camera. And the app is called, and I'll tell you in just a minute when I switch this off, um, it's a free download and it will also work on a, an Android phone as well. So we don't need the laptop and uh, all the associated gear now or PC. You've got, uh, and this will actually records as well on this, on the video. So handy little uh, trick there and it eliminates all the parallax error and you can see that uh, Nice and responsive, no problem at all. And this is a 7 inch tablet. Okay, and the, um, the app here is called Camerafy. Let me bring up the app, plug in our USB, OK, done. Uh, this is an Android. I'm sure they do it on a um, an Apple as well. Now another little thing I'd like to show you is this little gizmo here I've made as an approach to weight system. Now the the 1010 and the old uh, 510 both had a, an approach to weight system, which is this little tiny spring in the bottom there it rests on the, or the, the damper blade rests on the spring and it assists it off the bottom of the zero position so you get a smooth transition from lifting the weight up this starts to register now at two or three grains uh, minus two or three grains rather than doesn't register at all until the weight starts to pick the beam up in a sudden rush so this slowly and smoothly picks the beam up for that initial uh, off the bottom stop and starts to pick it up a little earlier than it naturally would. The same system is actually on the Lee, so not much in common between the RCBS 1010 and the Lee, except for the approach to weight system. Now it's not used on the 502 or 505 or any of the other uh, maker scales, uh, so this is what I've made. This, at the moment it's in its stored position so it's not having any effect on the beam at all. This is just uh, uh, as it would be stored. I can just zoom this in here a bit. Okay so here we are, we're going to move this to our working position. Now you can see here Coming a little closer as well. well. How does this work? Now, at the moment, it's not doing anything at all. The beam is in its zero position, and the little gravity weight here is just free to swing. No, no uh, contact with the beam whatsoever. But if we were to put on, uh, say, five grains on the beam. Right, so we've got probably, uh, what have we got there, four grains or something on there, and you'll see that the the scale damper blade is actually resting on the, on the little gravity arm there. This little arm comes up under the scale damper blade. So with three grains on the scale, that's just to bring it off the bottom stop. If we move it up to five grains, This is doing virtually nothing now. And if we go to 15 grains there, 
it does absolutely nothing at all so this it's not lifting it up one bit so if you dump in your powder measure at um, you want 15 grains you put in 12 grains this will now slowly start to lift this off the bottom so it's no longer on the dead stop it'll be up here so we go back to a, just a couple of grains under there we are so this is just lifting it off the bottom so as you measure into it or feed or trickle into it this will lift it up gently and by the time it's come up within a couple of uh, grains then it's free floating and this is hardly modifying it at all so that's at about uh, one grain and now the beam is completely free floating and not having any effect on it at all so it just makes a smooth transition from where it's on the bottom stop if you're feeding or trickling into it rather than it rush up and stop uh, and shoot the beam over the top it just lifts it up gently for that first couple of grains and then after that it's free to free to float as normal so just a little gizmo I made uh, it works very well um, you can adjust the amount of assist uh, from the zero stop by just adjusting this little bob weight at the bottom the more of a pendulum effect further down the more assist you get up until it's almost balanced in uh, where virtually none when you want to store it then it just goes out of the way and clicks into place there just uh, just thought you might be interested in that anyone who's into the beam scales and likes to enhance and improve them uh, just one little look there with this scale of course we've got the um, the extended uh, extended pointer which makes it uh, much easier to read with the camera so you don't get no parallax effect and we've weighted the bottom with uh, uh, plaster of Paris or in this case it's called stone cast which is a dense plaster of Paris then we've got a little uh, new adjuster here with a ball bearing set in the nose which makes it just nicer to use uh, for your adjust your, your scale doesn't walk around over the over the bench while you're trying to adjust it and makes it nice and easy so just just a couple of little things that you might be interested in uh, and you thought that's useful then please give us a thumbs up and I'll make some more of these videos